This video will demonstrate how to create an elevation drawing in AutoCAD. I have a um, project file open here. I've got the uh, project editor docked on the left and the AutoCAD interface docked on the right. So um, you can just select a product from your list here, drag it over to the uh, AutoCAD interface, and it will drop a block. Now the block that drops here is to scale. It's based on the height and width of the product. I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, I'm also going to pull over a rack. So let me scroll down here and pull over a rack from my uh, bill of materials and it's going to drop a scaled representation of a rack on the page. I'll go ahead and um, expand this full screen now and we'll pull this up. Oops, I went over to paper space there. Let me select this, drag it up, zoom in and you can see that um, it is a uh, it's a plain shape in this example here. Uh, there are other uh, blocks created that have like knobs and dials on them. Um, you can mark this as rack mounted via a drop down right here, and you can choose to show these labels or not show the labels. I'll leave the labels on there and change the look of this a bit. So now that there's little screw shapes here, and you can then take this and connect it over to the rack there's little snap points um, along each side. If it's 19 inches wide it'll fit exactly this case. Uh, it's not so you're probably going to need to add rack ears here. Um, you just hit escape and that's how you go about building an elevation page in AutoCAD. And regarding the scaling, the um, fact that these blocks scale on height and um, width is determined by the uh, specifications of the product. If you right click the block, go to D tools and choose edit that will open up the um, edit product form where you can then uh, check out here on the specifications. The reason it's dropping the size that it is is because of the height and width fields here. And here is an example of a um, rack elevation in progress.